Hello friends, today we will be learning SR latch using NAND bits. So, uh, first of all, let's try to understand function of NAND gate. NAND gate symbol is this with two inputs A and B, and output Y will be A dot B the whole path. Okay, so if inputs are A, B, and if possible values are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 0 and 1 1 and output y will be a dot b the whole bar so 0 into 0 0 whole bar will become 1 0 into 1 0 whole bar will become 1 1 into 0 0 whole bar will become 1 1 into 1 1 whole bar will become 0 so what is property here we can see of NAND gate if both inputs of NAND gate are 1 then it output becomes 0 and if one of the input of NAND gate is 0, then it output becomes 1. See here, any one of the input is 0, then no need to check another input. Its output is always going to be 1. So this property we will use to understand SR latch using NAND gate. So let's draw circuit diagram for it. We will use two NAND gates for it. Now, uh, inputs are R, R stand for re reset, S stand for set, and outputs are Q and Q bar. Q and Q bar are opposite to one another. If Q is 1, Q bar will be 0, and if Q is 0, Q bar will be 1. Then, we will cascade the outputs with input. Output of first NAND gate will be provided as input of second, and output of second will be connected as input of first so let's try to understand equation of q and q bar so equation of q will be for q two inputs are r and q bar r dot q bar the whole bar and equation of q bar will be s dot q the whole bar okay so if you want to find the value of q and q bar we will require value of s value of r okay also value of q so if s and r can take these four possible values 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and q is either 0 or 1 for 0 0 again either 0 or 1 for 0 1 either 0 or 1 for 1 0 and 0 for or 1 for 1 1 then if q is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 then what should be the value of q bar q bar should be 1 0 1 0 1 0 one zero then finally we can find the value of q n n stand for next value q n next value next value next value so for this flip flop you can find the value of q n how we can find q n q n q n bar okay so you can clearly see over here q n is equation shown over here q n bar equation is shown over here so for q n we require r into q bar r into q bar means multiplication of first column and second column and fourth column so 0 into 1 what will be the value of 0 into 1 0 and bar of it will become 1 okay or we can use this property of nand gate if any one of the input of nand gate is 0 its output becomes 1 Again, for second case, R is 0, Q bar is 0. So, output will become 1. For third case, R is also 1 and Q bar is also 1. So, output will become 0. For fourth case, R is 1, Q is 0. So, output will become 1. For next case, again, output will become 1. Again, output will become 1. 
now over here both r and q bar are 1 that's why output will become 0 again over here it will become 1 so we got value of qn now let's try to understand value of qn bar value of qn bar is dependent on s and q s and q means multiplication of first column and third column s and q so 0 into 0 will be 0 and bar of it it will become 1 or we can use same property if one of the input of negative 0 output becomes 1 and if both inputs are 1 output will become 0 so uh, 0 into 1 again 1 0 into 0 again one of the input is 0 that's why output will become 1 0 1 again it will become 1 now 1 0 again it will become 1 for 1 1 now say over here both are 1 1 so for 1 1 it will become 0 again 1 0 1 0 it will become 1 and for 1 1 again over here you can see both are 1 1 so for 1 1 it will become 0 okay so now let's try to understand when s and r are 0 0 over here and here at that time qn is 1 and qn bar is 1 over here okay so it is not allowed because when qn is 1 qn bar must be 0 that's why this condition is called as forbidden condition forbidden or no change condition forbidden or not allowed condition forbidden or not allowed condition okay now when both inputs are 0 1 let's try to understand it what will happen okay over here qn is 0 and qn bar is 1 so if main output out of qn and qn bar main output is qn and if qn is 0 this must be reset condition okay and over here qn and qn bar both are becoming one that's why it is forbidden condition so we will consider in this case when s and r are 0 and 1 our flip-flop goes in reset state then let's try to understand what happens when inputs are 1 0 when s is 1 r is 0 okay again over here when q is qn is 1 and qn bar is 1 again it is not allowed so it is forbidden condition and when uh, one more time we will get qn is equal to 1 and qn bar is equal to 0 main output is qn that's why since it is 1 that's why we will say that it is set okay so we will consider output of this as set because one time it is forbidden one time it is set now let's try to understand over here what happens when inputs are 1 1 s is equal to 1 r is equal to 1 at this time you can see over here uh, it is qn is equal to 0 qn bar is equal to 1 main output is 0 that's why this is a reset condition and uh, over here qn is equal to 1 qn bar is equal to 0 main output is 1 that's why it is set condition now question arises shall we consider the set condition for 1 1 or set condition for 1 1 for that we have to see the previous value of q see previously q was 0 and after performing we are again getting q is equal to 0 okay in next position again q was 1 previously then in next state also we are getting q qn is equal to 1 qn means next value so we are getting the same value over here as previous q was 0 then qn is also 0 q was 1 qn also 1 that's why we will say that this condition is no change condition this condition is no change condition so we got four values over here for 0 0 our condition is forbidden for 0 1 our condition is reset for 1 0 our condition is set and for 1 1 our condition is 
no change okay thank you